Well, hello. If you want to see how I made this bear, stay tuned. It's coming at you right now.
right, folks, we're getting ready to get started back on this bear. I just wanted to go over like some teaching moments real quick. I know you've gotten to see like a lot of stuff. You're just like seeing me fly through this because it's all in fast motion. But if not, we would be here for a while. So I'm sorry, it just has to be that way. It just has to be that way. I'm not that quick. Yeah, anyways, uh, I want to tell you real quick, this has not been the easiest carve. This wood, this must be like a hard sugar maple or something, or maybe I got a piece of oak. I don't know. I think it's sugar maple, hard maple, something like that. It's very, very hard, regardless, whatever it is. It's just very hard, very hard wood. You know, I'm having, I'm making a lot of cuts, and my, I can feel my chain skating off to the bar, and, you know, so that's why you want to try to pay attention to those things. That's why I want to say teaching moments. We're gonna take a few minutes. You know, you're cutting through, and you can feel it not cutting just right, and it kind of kicks a little bit to the side. So make sure you reset, because if not, you'll wear out your bars that way and you'll have to go back with the file and try to get them all straight again. It's just hard on your equipment. You know, hard, harder woods are hard on your equipment. I live in Kentucky, so we don't have, in this neck of the woods, it's all oaks, pecans, hardwoods. You got a few softwoods, but we don't have the, the big cedars or the, the redwoods, anything like that in those fancy, fancy places. <laughs> Anyways, more teaching, more teaching. As you can tell, our bear's coming out good. It's coming out decent. I mean, uh, I'm liking his style so far. His uh, his arms got I got that position on one of the arms that I was wanting. I've been fighting that a little bit, trying to get him all worked out of the wood. Uh, I got a lot of his furring done. Furring helps take away, not mistakes, but it helps bring it all together. Because I'm not saying mistakes, because you know, like it takes away your choppy cuts. Sometimes I'm, I feel like I'm a butcher at wood sometimes because, uh, you know, you're, I'll sit there and go, go to town on something and, uh, and then all of a sudden it starts looking like something. I don't know how it works. It starts off all messy and then bam, it turns into something. It's weird. But, uh, getting to get his fairing done. I'm going to work on this base a little bit. I may not show you that just cause I want to try to do a little bit quick. You're going to turn out your bases the way you want them to. When I'm talking about base, I mean this. Uh, guys, legs and feet all worked in. We're getting ready to start hitting this face though. Getting ready to start working on that. I'm gonna take him off the stump. That way I'm not having my arms up so high. I got short arms anyways. And uh, look at that butt. A little bear butt. <laughs> little bear booty right there. Can you see the bear booty? Yeah, you can see the bear booty. All right, but he's coming together. He's looking good. Brought his arms in. And those, those are small details you wanna work in. You want to bring in like where the arms are going to be coming in this is where you, this is where you bring your bears together is and i'm not picking on on anybody here like i've, I've seen a lot of bears in like the forums and th stuff here we're gonna wrap this up because it's a lot of time just talking about teaching moments but uh sometimes i want to encourage people like when i see their stuff and i'm not good by any means i'm gonna tell you that right now be but keep going a little bit further you know it's hot you bring out your creativity inside yourselves and just bring it out onto the animal. Just don't stop. You may have a shape of a bear and maybe a little bit of bear features and say that that's a bear, but the, the more you keep going and you're progressing, and that's what your skill's gonna develop into, is uh, you know challenge yourself to, to keep on making extra cuts. Maybe you're gonna mess it up. Don't worry about that. Grab you another log and just keep on cranking them out and keep on practicing. Like there's time, like even on this, I have to rethink sometimes just because my brain's scattered like most of your brains probably are too and <laughs> you keep on cranking you keep on cutting and you keep finding it you find that shape inside of the log and that's what it's all about and you start seeing it come together like how how i do it it just man it seems like i'm butchering wood and then all of a sudden your form and your shape starts coming together some people are more fluid they know how to make the precise cuts because they've made thousands of them and you know one day i'll hopefully will be at that point not there yet but i'm getting there i'm not getting there i'm like years off probably um anyways but anyways the furring we're going to talk about that real quick i always try to make a lot of i don't like to do the real long sweeps i try to make like short cut ends and uh certain parts like I, i'm trying to make like a little v pattern into his chest like where the hair kind of you know kind of like comes together you want to think like when you're doing your arms and stuff you know if, if a bear originally sits his arm down like this so 
you know, the hair on his arms are going to be coming down and swooping over to, to one direction usually. Sweeping down forward and then to one direction. So think about that when you're doing your, your cuts. How is that bear actually going to be standing there? How is the, the, the hair that's on his body, if he was sit like in an all forward position, how would his hair be flowing and try to flow that out onto that side? I know this is a real long segment for some reason. And uh, yeah, I was just trying to teach you that. Hopefully that works. If I re-edit to this, whatever, whatever, we'll figure it out. Figure it out, let's get back to carving.
All right, folks, well, here it is. The finished product, our little black bear. I think he turned out great. Everything went pretty well for him. Yeah, he turned out good. Turned out good. It turned out well. A lot of cool things with this one. Uh, you know, I just kept on carving into him, kept on digging into him, and uh, more expressions started coming out on his face and just things like that. Just, I may have took a little bit too long. I had a lot of things going on. It was stopping here, stopping there, continuing back. That just happens sometimes. You, you're going to find out yourself that sometimes you just got to you just gotta stop. You got family things going on, and you just can't keep on going. And that's kind of what happened to this one, which makes me put a, a, just a little bit more time because I'll come back and I'll look at something and I want to rework something. And that's perfectly fine, I think. You know, uh, don't base don't base uh, your uh, creativity off the time that you're going to have into something. You know, make it to the best that you can. As of right now, all my bears are going to turn out different, but you know, this bear looks pretty dang good. A <laughs> uh, couple things, I don't know if you caught it or not. This wood was extremely hard. Uh, I had a rough time with it. I believe this is like a hard maple, something in that in that range. It was very hard. It was dried out. This tree had been down probably for about six months. Uh, so yeah, I really struggled with this one. It took a little bit extra time. It's not car like carving cedar or anything like that, you know, or a softwood or, or a cherry even for that. Uh, it took a little bit of extra time. My bars, uh, they didn't like it. My chains didn't like it. I wasn't liking it. But uh, the end result, it came out awesome. Couple, couple things, just in case you didn't uh, catch it, you know, like when I was when I was uh, painting it, I used like a different type of brush. And when I put the black on, this black is a stain as well. It's the uh, it's a Cabot's uh, transparent stain, but I had them tint it in the uh, black color. So that's a stain. Everything's on here is a stain. It's all the Cabot's uh, Cabot's Australian Temporal, but it's just ones I had tinted to black, and other ones in the natural the color for the muzzle and everything also left a little bit around the eyes a little bit different color also for the ears just to give it some contrast and as you saw like when i was painting it i didn't want it to be all solid black i wanted to leave like little patches that way you could kind of distinguish the colors out on him but yeah he turned out awesome turned out cool i think they're gonna be pretty happy with it happy little bear all right well that's the end of this one hopefully you liked it i know it Man, this is like three hours of video on this thing. I don't know how I'm going to get it all down into 15 minutes to keep you kind of interested. But anyways, we'll figure out something. We'll figure out something. All right, more videos to come. Hope you liked it. If you did enjoy it, if you want to see something else, uh, hit the like, comment, subscribe. Leave, leave a comment. Tell me what you, what you would like to see out of my videos a little bit more. Maybe I'm not showing certain things that you really need to see. And, that's, and I'll be the first to tell you, it's hard to capture every detail to get us close up the closer this camera is to this i have more chainsaw oil or more bar, bar oil going on to my lens the more the more it gets dirtier so hopefully you can understand that a little bit it is a little bit tough to get really close with the camera and capture every detail but I, i'm going to try to do my best for you you know you know i appreciate y'all being here i appreciate you watching the video uh if there's something you'd like to see please let me know if there's something you think i should be doing a little bit different i'll listen to you if it's something that would make it easier on me you know i'm here to learn hopefully you're here to learn and you know we're just all here to learn together all right we got more things to come uh i got a lot more i'm gonna have probably some more bears in the future i'll have some other things coming up in the lineup i know i've got i've done i've been doing a lot of pumpkins right now we are sitting in september here in kentucky uh it's pumpkin season so uh gonna be doing a lot more pumpkins you may see it or may not i may do a cut by cut for pumpkin video or something like that you know that way everybody can see exactly what i'm doing it would be a long video you know those things do take time uh but yeah we'll do something we'll do something throw your comments down let me know what you like subscribe see my other stuff recommend me to do something better that way i can get back get better i'm not shaving the mustache somebody said i need to lose it i'm not shaving it you know my wife loves it my kids think i look stupid without it i just gotta keep it just gotta keep it it's like one of those dogs you know you don't really want them but you can't really give them up can't give them up all right well y'all have a good day hopefully you enjoyed it the black bear all right talk to you later bye